Welcome back once again to all of you who are joining us today. We are reading Lam Rimya, Making Life Meaningful Day by Day. And we are on the chapters of the lower realms. It's really hard to hear, but it's something that we all need to learn about. And it's put together beautifully by Alison Murdoch and Sandra Sidsmith from the teachings of, given by Kyabji Lama Yeshe and Kyabji Lama Zopar and Kuche. And I hope we all can understand what these are and read them together. Join us. We are on day 122. Day 122. Quote, the worst pain we can suffer is bliss compared to the suffering in the hells. End quote. Lama Subharan Text. There are a number of neighboring hells surrounding the eight hot hells, just as suburbs surround a city center. Some beings are brought straight into the neighboring hells, but generally these are places that the hell being finds itself in when it is time in the hot or cold hells has finished, having endured the most terrible suffering for an unaccountable number of eons. The beings finally escape the main hell, but even then its suffering has not finished. It must also try to escape these neighboring hells. The first obstacle is the fiery trench. As the being plunges in the river of lava up to the knees, its leg dissolved with the heat, causing incredible agony. However, when the being pulls each leg out, the leg reforms, allowing the hell being to continue one step at a time, each step causing terrible pain. Finally, escaping the lava of the fiery trench, the hell being finds itself in the next neighboring hell, putrid swamp, a quagmire of utterly disgusting filth like the worst possible septic tank filled with excrement. The next surrounding hell is the plain of souls. Uh, the being has to cross a plain characterized by ra large razor-shaped souls like horns that cut into its pieces with every move, causing terrible suffering. The last neighboring hell is the uncrossable torrent. This is also called the water that is oneness with fire because the texts describe it as water mixed with fire, boiling and bubbling like a pot of boiling oil. The being must cross this boiling river to be free from the neighboring hells, but just stepping into the liquid dissolves its flesh, causing agonizing pain must suffer like this for an unbelievably long time. Three big recalls of the day are the neighboring hells surround the hot hells like suburbs around the city. A hell being escapes from the agonizing lava of the fiery trench into the putrid swamp. After being cut into pieces on the plain of souls, its flesh is dissolved by the uncrossable torrent. I hope we all can pray together and dedicate for all beings in all of the hells, hot hells, cold hells, and the neighboring hells, and that they are free from suffering and all sorts of suffering forever. And I hope you all can join us tomorrow for another reading of Lam Rimya, making life meaningful day by day. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye from Chukosan Lingam.